Hi everybody, it's Ann Kaplan from Ann Kaplan Childbirth Services and Mom Me, and I'm building this week all on the theme of time management. I did a broadcast on Tuesday, got a ton of interest um, because I think it's such a universal topic for all of us moms. We find ourselves multitasking. We maybe even think like we're super good at multitasking, and it's like the thing that's like the most our best quality or whatever. And if you dig a little bit deeper, you'll realize that multitasking is actually probably a the hugest source of your frustration and anxiety. And we talked about that on Tuesday and I promised you guys I was gonna show you what I'm doing right now to get on top of my own time management. So, you know, everybody says all the time, like, don't you wish your kids came with an instruction manual? How many people have heard that cute little catchphrase? Um, and really they don't, obviously, we all know that. But I have found for me personally anyway, having a little bit of a map of my schedule during the day is kind of like having an instruction manual and I've also found that when I'm straying from my little day map um, that's when I find myself having all the feelings about momming that I'm working so hard not to have so we're gonna talk a little bit more about that and as most of you guys know we've just moved to Spain a few weeks ago and the schedule here is completely different than it is in the US so everybody eats lunch around like 2 p.m. or 2 30 p.m. and it's a huge meal it's basically like what we have for dinner in the US so um, school gets out like around 2 because um, most kids go home and have like this huge meal with their families and then most adults if they um, have like a real full-time job they go back to work in the afternoons and so um, <laughs> we're all just like topsy-turvy in our family and we've been that way for a few weeks and it's been really really stressful for me I'm a super organized person I do not like chaos and um, especially when it's stuff where we're trying to get Mike and I have to get work done we have jobs and all of this stuff and our kids are just like all up in our biz all the time and it's everything's happening at once and I had to remind myself like you know what you need to do when you feel this way which is I need to stop multitasking and I need to start compartmentalizing my day and so I actually um, we teach what we need to learn right guys so this week's theme was for me as much as it was for you and I'm gonna show you guys what um what I've done in the last couple of days to really uh, honor my commitment to you guys. So I've already sat down and did this in like sort of like a rough draft kind of way with Mike before we even got here. But of course we knew that once we got here we'd realize all this stuff and the realities would set in and things would just have to be adjusted and that's exactly what's happened. So. I um, always suggest to write things down, um, and I mean like literally write, not on the computer or whatever. You can always put it on the computer later, but for me anyway, writing is super powerful. So I'm gonna actually show you guys, like I sat down and started um, making like a schedule of like, okay, well how is our day set up right now? And it started with, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn this so you can see it without it being backwards. All the, these are all drafts. These even aren't even all the drafts. These are all drafts that I worked on. And this was my first, no, this was my first one. So I just started writing down like, well, what are we doing? And, and what do we do during our day? And I kind of had it all as one thing. Like, this is our family. This is what we're doing. And here's me calculating how many hours. <laughs> of work that I could fit in during the week without um, going crazy. And then I realized, uh, okay, this isn't gonna work because look, at these times, you know, someone's doing this at this time and someone else is doing this at this time and blah, blah, blah. So then I went and broke it down into, okay, the kids and mom and dad. And then I realized, well, that doesn't even work either because Sky naps and the other kids don't nap and I was writing all these details and all this stuff. So then I'm gonna show you over here this is what I did yesterday and it still is a huge mess um, of trying to figure things out but things are getting more and more clear for me and then this is what I have this is like my final beautiful draft it's not really final because nothing's ever final but this is what we're working with right now of like I broke it into mom dad the bigs that's what I call my bigger kids the bigs and and sky because he's got his own jam and um, at first you'll see like I was writing in all of these things like work 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 well what really did those work blobs mean 
mean? Work was really just a word that I was using for a time that I can do stuff or time that Mike can do stuff where we don't have kids around us. And there's way more stuff than just work that I wanna do during that time. So instead, I just like color coded it blue and blue just means that I'm. those are times that Mike and I have available to do what we need to do, whether it's home admin, working, blah, blah, blah. And of course, those times will get more and more, um, you know, dialed in as we have work obligations and appointments and things like that. But this is just a working schedule that we can use um, to understand what's going on in our day and, and to stick to it. That's what I really want to talk about with you guys today. It's not about writing it all down. It's not about having it be like this thing that's like super concrete and, and it's perfect and rigorous or anything like that. And it doesn't matter if you color code it, it doesn't matter if it's on your computer or whatever. And it doesn't matter if it's like super compartmentalized the way this is, or if it's literally where I start with my clients, which is one division of time, with your kids, not with your kids, or work, home, whatever it is based on who each of my clients have their own needs, but it doesn't matter about that. What it matters about is that when you have this, it's a tool. It's not a tool to beat yourself up. It's not a tool to make yourself feel like a loser. And it's, and it's not a tool to make yourself hold to this doggedly because that's not even uh, a possibility. Of course, there's going to be days where you might have to do errands during a certain time or like right now I'm doing my broadcast and technically it's, it's mommy playtime, but luckily Sky's still napping, so I can do that. You know, all of those things, like it, it's never gonna be rigid and you're never gonna follow it exactly. But what this does for me and what this tool can do for you is that when I'm starting to feel like, Mah! like, why I'm trying to finish this thing on my phone and my kids are badgering me and I have to make dinner and blah, 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 when you have that feeling, that could be a yellow flag to you of like, wait a second, I bet I'm probably not sticking to this commitment that I've made to myself of this time management thing. So um, it's not for you to feel bad or anything, but it's for me to come and look at this thing and say, oh, yep, what do you know? I've gone off and tried to do something that was, I don't know, orange when it's supposed to be blue or whatever. And now I'm having these feelings of confliction, anxiety, stress, frustration with my kids, all of that stuff. And the, literally as I was making this thing today, I was making this thing during this block of time right here, this little blue block of time after my Spanish class, but before I had to I had to make lunch and get my and get my kids come home from school for lunch. Well, and that was great and it was all going awesome and then my kids came home from lunch, the door opens and I'm still trying to do all this up here and my kids are like, "Uh, it's lunchtime. Hello, we're in the green zone." And I um totally started feeling like really aggravated because I was trying to finish up an email, I was trying to finish, you know, color coding this thing or whatever, and I started being like really grouchy with my kids and then and I was like, wait a second, look at my thing. What time is it? Oh, it's 2.30 and I'm acting like it's 1.30. You know what? Of course that's not gonna work. Of course it's gonna be frustrating to me. So compartmentalizing your day is really challenging at first and like, I'm not telling you guys to do this, okay? I'm a Virgo with like massive OCD tendencies. I'm not trying to tell you guys to be me. Don't be me, <laughs> be you, but um, making a commitment to yourself to do the things that you said you were going to do and having a tool to help you understand like when you've gone off track why is that why are you off track oh it's because you're trying to do something that was never going to work for you to do at this time it was never going to work for you to get emails done while your kids are asking you for a snack that was never ever going to work for you so my tips to you today about um all of this writing stuff down and doing all this stuff is like number one Understand that you're gonna do a bunch of drafts, just like I did, okay? Even if right now, all this is is me writing down what's actually going on right now. This isn't my goals. This is like literally me writing down like our reality right now. So of course it's a draft. Of course it's gonna change. And of course, the more that I try to stick to it, the more that I'm gonna learn like, oh, wait a second, that was totally unrealistic. So give yourself some grace that your um, time management is a work in progress. It's a draft and it's going to to change um, as you maybe realize you're being unrealistic or your life change or, or whatever. That's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's permanent and it isn't. So don't
don't even go there with your brain. So that's number one. It's a draft. It's a work in progress. Second tip is like stay accountable to your to your tool. This is your tool. So just like I was saying before, like if I can look at this and say, well, listen, I made a commitment to myself that I wasn't going to be doing work when my kids got home from school and now I'm trying to do it. No wonder I'm angry and frustrated right now. Come on. I made this commitment to myself. I'm going to fulfill that commitment and I'm going to use this tool to help me stay accountable and to help me understand why I'm having the feelings I'm having when I'm having them. And the third tip that I have for you guys is revisit it. Like, let's say it is working for you. Let's say it's awesome. Your kids get older. You maybe want to add in extra activities and all this stuff. Give yourself permission to go back and say, you know what, forget this. We're going to do this again a different way or whatever. So those are my three tips for you guys today. It's a draft. It's a work in progress. Keep yourself accountable to your commitment to yourself and give yourself permission to revisit your stuff. And if you guys can do these things, I promise you, you're going to start noticing the less you multitask and the more that you stay present and honor your commitments to yourself and your kids, you are going to feel that like cortisol level going down, that anxiety level going down, and the fact that you can actually enjoy all the parts of your day. Like, oh, this is the part of my day where I make lunch and I'm actually enjoying that because I set this up time aside for myself and I have to feel like by making lunch, I'm not doing 10 other things that I'm supposed to be doing. So that's this kind of stuff, these tools that help you get um, this kind of clarity and relaxation and happiness and enjoyment of your day. That's what Mommy is all about, you guys. And that's the connection that I love to have with my clients. And I love to to help you guys problem solve what's going on for you and come up with tools and solutions that are gonna work for you. So if you think that that would be helpful for you, I would absolutely love to do a free session with you. I do free breakthrough sessions with all of my clients before they get started and some people sign up and some people don't. But that's my commitment to all of my clients is that I offer one free breakthrough session and I would love to do that with you. And during that breakthrough session, it's all about getting clarity on the goals and visions you have for yourself figuring out what's going on for you and what's blocking you from getting there and giving you guys tips on how you can get there. So what, by the time we're done with our free session, you will actually have in hand a list of things that you could start today to make a difference in your life. And I promise you it will. It's very transformative what one hour of one-on-one -on -one coaching can do for you. So take a chance, sign up um, with, the, with the link in the comments. And I've got a little boy who just woke up from his nap. So I'm going to compartmentalize my time and zoop, my work time and put on my mommy playtime hat. Love you guys. I hope you're having an amazing day and hasta luego.